people on another adventure this is uh mccoy's ferry campground and uh, it's 20 bucks a night it is no electric hookups it's just uh all uh kind of primitive here they do have water we have site number seven yep so this is the potomac we got some kayakers out this morning just need to cut some brush back we have a nice view of the potomac out there I don't know. Is this a cicada? I don't know. What is this? We're stuck to the, uh... <coughs> don't mind me. I'm a professional bug handler, actually. So I'm trained at this, but, uh, yeah. All right, buddy. We can go back on the pole. There you go. We got our citronella candle out. We got some cooking stuff and some seats and just doing a little fire here main thing is get some smoke going to get rid of the bugs that's a slow fire hey, babe if you ever want to start a fire mm -hmm. this candle wax right here if you put that on a piece of wood yeah. it'll light up like <laughs> really yeah good for starting a fire so i'm letting it burn slow hopefully it'll uh get enough smoke going to run away all the bugs what's on the menu tonight Spicy chicken, mushroom, pepper skewers. Ooh. Here, let me take you up to the towpath and see an old canal here real quick. Yeah, I think the best campsites down here are probably like one, two, and three. They're all right by the water and you can actually see. Actually, this campsite right here is probably the best one. Even though it's close to the parking lot. Campsite number one. So if you're down here, now you know, you get a water view, unobstructed, pretty much. And your water source is right over there. And access to the uh, to the towpath is right here. And you got uh, some vault toilets right there. It's pretty long. And this... is the big ditch so I'm sure it looked way different back in the day but that is where they had the boat and they used this little towpath here to tow it a lot of it was supplies farming gear but a lot of it was cold as well out of the Allegheny. So it's not that deep and it's not that wide. But that's the see another canal and this is the towpath. A lot of the mules did the towing. So the mules would tow the the boats slash barges up. So we're just about at mile number 110 on the CNO. Probably couldn't imagine it with all these big trees along the side. They was probably pruned back and kept pretty clean. So yeah, so this is part of the CNO canal. And uh, earlier we showed you lock number, I think we went to lock number 34. There's a bunch of locks on the canal, obviously. And it's, you know, the same way that they navigate canals today is the locks back then were similar, dealing with the different elevations of water. All right, we'll pick you back up at the campsite. I don't think we need something good, it's can fed, it's not good, I have to put some mixed it. I'm going to warming up the rice. Some rice. I think I'll We're gonna do 
what part of this self-guided tour here. And uh, we're at the visitor center right now, so we're gonna go up and follow the numbers in order. There's a Maryland monument right here. Dunker Church. September 17th, 1862. Yeah. Babe, can you imagine? They were they were pitched up on this this bluff in this field over here. Like these have the whole story of it. Let's go walk and see the church, babe. Are right, you wanna walk up here first? Wow. That's this one open battlefield. When they first time get here, they fighting each other. Yeah, this is one of the many battles that took place in the Civil War between like 1860 and 1865. This is, I think, it was one of the bloodiest ones. That and Gettysburg were pretty bad. Cicadas are everywhere, man. I see them flying around. I don't know why they fighting you guys each other. It's supposedly states' rights, but it was basically the right to have slaves. So the South was a, basically a farming, yeah. basically all of the South, so there was a lot of cotton. Now, this is a much bigger industry in the South because the North had steel, they had the steel mills in like Pennsylvania, and, you know, they had a lot more industry going on. Yeah, this is before they had bug spray. Can you imagine yeah. being out here camping every night? Good morning. Right. Soldier! Bad, bad, bad. Good, good shot. Done. Let's go to this church and then we'll go to the next one. Reconstructed in 1962. Yeah, smoke. It was hard to see. Can you imagine? It's, it's just really hard to see on the battlefield back in those days. All the smoke from the rifles and cannons. Oh, the church? Yeah, I wonder where the, the preacher was at. Like, was he, where was he at? The way they got this laid out. Maybe he stood in the middle and said, come ye, come one, come on. Let's get out of here. Hide in here. Hide in here. I mean, the famous Clara Barton. The forest of Reddit calls nurse. Forest of Bandage, uh, soldier. Yes, Bandage. Yes. Bandage. Founded the American Red Cross and the American First Aid Association. Put the band aid soldier, put the like a Neosprint soldier, something like that. Joseph Poffenberger Farm. A lot of farmland. Regiment Pennsylvania Reserve Volunteers. And the cicada is loud. Second bridge. I don't know what the first bridge is. First what bridge? Brigade. Oh, brigade? I thought it was a breeze. <laughs> the first bridge. <laughs> Bruh. Trying to take over each other's capital. 
Uh, yeah, the South Capitol. Oh, who is that? In Richmond. It is a That's nice a Army Corps. 50th Pennsylvania volunteer. Nice Army. Wow, nice Army. Good to 6, 7, 8. Camera's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Anybody behind me? Independent Battery D. Wow. Second Brigade, Second Division, Ninth Corps. I wonder what that means. Uh, as far as like independent corps. We're out here at the uh, cemetery. We just need to cross the road over there. But... Fresh from Victory, Robert E. Lee, across the Potomac, September 4th through 6th, 1862. Two armies clashed in the bloodiest single day in American history and suffered 20,000, 23,000 casualties, big. Bloodiest one day battle in American history, 23,000 people killed. 23,000? Yeah. For the one day battle, how do they count it? 23,000 killed. They're counting one by one? What? 1883 cemetery over there. <laughs> Thousand bodies were buried in mass graves along rock outcroppings and farmers' fields. Many more soldiers died of wounds and disease. The state of Maryland stepped forward to help in March 1865 by purchasing land for the purpose of a state national cemetery. The original plan called for a union and confederate reinterred in the national cemetery. But only federal states had the money for the project. Thus, only Union soldiers are buried here. Confederate dead remain in shallow graves. In some cases, for 10 years until they reinterred in. Establish local cemeteries in Hagerstown, Frederick, Shepherdstown, West Virginia. There's a layout. 1862. Different water levels. 
here at the lot. This is how they drive through it. Over there. They have a speed limit on the bicycle back. What? 15 miles per hour speed limit.